Um, I, I wanted to go back to uh, a couple of other types of things. Um, one is, you know, you've had this incredibly long leadership journey where you've seen this company grow in size, scale, scope, a whole bunch of different things. What are a few leadership lessons that you've learned, things that you've done right, things that you didn't do right and learned from? Well, there's things I've done right and there's things I haven't done right. And uh, um, kind of, I, I just think from a, uh, um, from a leadership standpoint, I think it's really important you have to, you have to be a, list, you have to be a, a good listener. Uh, I think to be a great leader, you have to be a great listener. And uh, our org chart is kind of a unique org chart where my name has always been at the bottom of the org chart. And then the, the people who work directly with me, and I hate the phrase work for or report to, mm -hmm. we really look that we work together, but the people who work directly with me are next to me, are up for me on the, the org chart because my job is to make sure that they've got the resources, the personnel, the capital to be able to do a great job. And so that org chart chart builds like that, becomes a, a diamond-shaped org chart, and kind of moves back to the, to the top, and at the top of the org chart is the, is the customer, or what we call the athlete. I see. And uh, in reality, then it means that the further away you are from the, cu the customer or the athlete, the less you should talk and the more you should listen, which means I should never talk, I should only listen, <laughs> but I don't always do that. I do talk at times, too, but I just think you have to be a great listener, and one of the things that I've talked about is if there were 10 really transformational ideas over the years for our company, mm -hmm. two of them were my idea. The other eight came from somebody else. And that we listened to, we thought through, we modified a little bit. But uh, eight of the ideas out of 10 that really transformed our business to where it is today came from somebody else. And uh, I think a lot of people, if, they, if they're honest, they would say, that's not unusual just not just sometimes people want to take credit for ideas that might not have been theirs but uh, so I think you've got to be a great uh, a great leader some of the things that uh, the probably the biggest mistake that I made was uh, what I talked about in 1994 we just got pretty hubris we thought we were too cool for school we opened up stores too fast we weren't capitalized the way that we should be uh, and the business outran our ability to manage it and we almost went out of business. And uh, that was a really, that was a great lesson. We've got, uh, we've got, a, lot of scar t we've got a lot of scar tissue. There was a guy, a venture capitalist out of uh, Minneapolis, uh, Jerry Gallagher from Oak Investment Partners, who was a great shareholder, really helpful to the business. And when he made the decision to invest in us, he said, the main reason I'm investing in you, he said, I think you've got a good concept, et cetera, et cetera. He said, but one of the main reasons I'm, I'm investing with you guys is you've got some scar tissue. You've you've looked in you you've had some tough times and you've been able to manage through them, and uh, but that was that was by far and away the biggest mistake I made. 